Detman. Today I'm going to talk about the EcoCirc XL pump, uh, basic programming and basic wiring. Okay, so this is our test unit. I'm going to plug it in and power it up. And when you first power it up, it goes through a little couple things here. Um, what you're going to see is it come through to this degas mode. So what this is basically doing is trying to burp all the air out of the system. If it detects air, it'll go down into an alarm. Um, you can also skip this mode by uh, pressing the up and down arrows together, and then it'll skip it. Okay, now that our unit is powered up and went through its degassing mode, um, I'm gonna show you, it won't let you scroll through. It shows like it's locked uh, to change different modes here. So to unlock that, you hold down the top arrow and this parameter button here, and it unlocks. And that'll allow you to scroll through here to read um, feet ahead, RPM, uh, your watts, and this is uh, cubic meters per hour. And to change that, you can hold down this button and it'll go over to the GPM mode. And then you can read like feet ahead as well, or you can switch it back to read meters. Um, so these are different types of modes here. We got uh, constant pressure, uh, proportional pressure, and a uh, fixed pressure, like a fixed speed, constant speed mode. Um, and all these can be changed by uh, pushing these up and down arrows. So you can speed the motor up and down to whatever your desired uh, flow is. Okay, I'm gonna show you some of the basic wiring on the EcoCirc. You gotta remove these three screws and get this lid off. And what you can see here is our main power coming in, our line power to power the pump. Uh, we got four and five here, which is a normally open contact for a uh, fault. Um, seven and eight is a external speed. Then you got nine and 10, which could be like an external pressure sensor. And 11 and 12 is our start stop. And in our case here, we got 11 and 12. This is our start stop switch. If you do not have an external start stop, you gotta install a jumper between 11 and 12. That'll keep the pump running. Down here we got our RS-485 communications and you can talk BACnet or Modbus. I thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to the RL Deppman Company.